with Jackie Carmichael and Serena. I'm Jackie Carmichael. And I'm Serena. This is Chapter 6, The Bathroom Edition. The Bathroom Edition. Oh, yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's a, did it sound like we're in a bathroom? Yeah, it's a little echoey now in the room because a good portion of the content of the room has been removed because it belonged to someone else who needed to move out for about the last two and a half years. <laughs> I can't believe you just said it like that. And so, <clears throat> I haven't had time to uh, sound the space, acoustic the space. Why don't you buy a couch? Well, uh, you know, they actually have like the tabletop acoustic uh, sound oh. absorbers, right? Oh. So you've got this kind of tower that sits here and because our microphones are right here and it'll do some like sound absorption, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, I love it. It's a it little bit sense. expensive, so I haven't sense. invested yet. I didn't have made that. Really. Yeah. It, can you do the same thing with eggshell box, boxes? Oh, sure, 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 sure. But what am I going to do, like hang them from the ceiling? Like sure, I can make a mobile. <sighs> <laughs> that would be cute. Or the spongy walls. Well, you know, the thing is, this is actually my living room. But uh, so I don't want to do like, I don't want to put like spongy walls or egg crate walls. I would rather have like the things that just naturally absorb sound. Oh, okay. Like a rack of fabulous drag. Well, if you had the, if you had the eggshell boxes, these, it could make you, it could make you and gentlemen callers come over to make you look sound and look important. Like you're a movie, like a sound producer or something. <laughs> uh, like a porn producer. They're okay. going to be like, wait a minute, I didn't ask for all of this. <laughs> okay, come on. Think about it. What, really? They're going to walk into all the head crates and the microphones and the ring light and go, oh, shit. Bam, 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 shoot the porn. <laughs> come on now. Bam, shabam. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay. A little echoey. It's okay. But we will, uh, we'll push through. Okay, we can push through. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing that we want to talk about, I really think, is your pedicure. <laughs> and the reason we want to talk about that, folks, is because uh, what we find out when we come out of quarantine is that we need an upgrade on our pedicure. Isn't that what we find out, Sabrina? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, yeah, up the game. Mm -hmm. So how did you, how did you up your game? Because I really noticed as you walked up, I'm like, I'm like, I need some uh, sunglasses to look at this bitch's pedicure. <laughs> Do you know when you go to the when well, you get a spa pedicure? The girls always talk about your shit, right? In their language, which is great. You know, you're just wondering, are they complimenting me or not? I don't know. But they all talk shit, right? So about about five minutes into the manicure, they always say, you want down? And for the longest time, I said no, because it, it didn't look important. It wasn't important to me, right? And I, I didn't really see it in action. Okay. <laughs> so the other day... Um, post pandemic, I was there, and this and this and this really cute black girl. She was um, she got her nails done, and they did the gel on her hands, and they and they what it what it is it's 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 I I, I don't remember, it's more plasticky I guess, and they put another coat on top called chrome, and it makes it shiny. It's like, and and it's depthy. Just, it's depthy, it's almost three D. Um, yeah, and it it dries much faster. They put you under LED lights, and it dries that much faster. Okay. Uh huh. And then when they the very top layer is um it, it's it's like a powder, like a really fine, 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 fine powder. They put it in their hand and they rub it on your toe. And you're done. Oh, as a, as a final buffer. It's just That's a final right. buffer. It just like two, two seconds, boom, mm -hmm. and it makes it look fucking three D. Wow. So yeah. And that's the gel, yes? Yes. Yeah, so it's the <clears throat> gel. And it's an extra $25. Okay. Yeah. So what happened? <laughs> they said, you like the gel? And you <laughs> said, sure, I'll do it this time? No, I said, I, well, I said, well, yes, I said, okay, let's try this. Well, I'm, you know, I saw them on the girls. I mean, it, it, it could work, maybe. I don't know. So they put it on my toes last week, or that means the last time, and they, and they, made, they made it look like oil, an oil spill on my toes. So it was, uh, it, they got yeah, the chrome part is like now wait a minute, a little, rainbow. like an oil spill. Yeah, like Exxon, like yeah. completely shit all over your feet. Yeah, but it was what, what it was. It was a rainbow sh powder on top of black. So, oh wow! So it looked like very an oil spill. Okay, got it. So that you can see all the colors. That's bizarre. I know, and I was, and every, every day after that, 
I was at the grocery store, and they would someone would say, "How did how did you get your toes like that?" So I guess I was been doing something right. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Oh, so what you have going on today is the second time you've it, done the gel. Yeah, it's the second time. Oh. Now I did white, so now it looks like a unicorn toes or something. So you've ba- so you basically you've almost doubled what you pay now. <laughs> yes, and the tip doubles too. Oh, and the tip goes up too. So you've really upped your game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, so this is post pandemic pedicure talk <laughs> here on the uh, stupid six. podcast. Yes. <laughs> wow! So you're gonna pay double now. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just put in my budget. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you really stop and think about forty five dollars last year, it's about six weeks. Okay. It's supposed to last longer too, so it's about six weeks. So six and of that, it's like seven dollars a week to have your cute toes. That's fine. Okay, so how many times a year do you think you're going to do this? Well, you have to. What does that six, break down to? You have to go six weeks, like every six weeks. So about five hundred dollars. So you're going to do five hundred bucks a year worth of pe- gel pedicure. <laughs> yes, you can't do them at home. It's dumb. I mean, I've tr- I've been tried that many times. Yeah, it doesn't work. It just, you just know, it's just, it's the service. It's the service. Mm-hmm. It's the vibe. Like just trying to do your own, anything down there <laughs> is difficult. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Just a clip is hard enough. <clears throat> Much less trying to get down there and do some like high tech, you know, mm-hmm. colorization and finish. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. they do it, and they do it so quick. Mm-hmm. The, the pedicure part, that's a lot of fun. Right? Just doing the cover, like, j- just the color part of it, tastes like, Maybe seven minutes. Mm. The rest of it's like, put your toes in, put your toes out. Interesting. And that the little Dremel thing. I just now just I discovered that. Do you go to the one where they put your your feet in the little tank and the fish eat all the stuff? No, only in Beverly Hills you do that. And I think you can do it here too. There is a, a bougie shop at Second at PCH. And they, their pedicure start at $65, and that's for nothing. That's, that has no polish. <laughs> you just get a pedicure. Wow. It starts at, and that's where? It's second to PCH. Okay. And, and there's one that's it's 125 I'm thinking that's the one with the fish. Mm, <laughs> where? Here, do you think? Uh, like Belmont area? Yeah, where second to PCH to me. It's a new center with the whole food. Mm-hmm. That's uh, so you can get the fish toe treatment yeah, yeah. Yes, in this town. Have you ever done it? Lord, no. It, it doesn't hurt. It, no, but I was watching uh, the Trixie Katya thing. Oh, and yeah. Katya, I mean, Trixie was talking about how, you know, she, apparently she comes from like a real poor background. And she said they used to go like, you know, bathe in the river. And she said if you stood there long enough, you would feel the, the fish pecking at your toes. Mm-hmm. Doing basically the same thing. Mm-hmm. It doesn't hurt. It's just like, what? Isn't that bizarre? It's probably tickles. It, it is bizarre. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't really tickle. It's a weird feeling. <laughs> I want to go ahead and shout out to a few people who now have received our fabulous t-shirt because they're wonderful listeners to our show. John Newell, and he has a shirt. What? We ship that out to him. It's true. Uh, and my good friend Anisha, she was Anisha Fullarden, and now she is Anisha T. Gregorio. She married her sexy husband, finally. And I sent her a shirt because she is a great listener. She comments almost every time. I love it. And then I have somebody else on my list, too. Let me see. I have one more person. Uh, na, 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 na. All right. I don't have that list up right now, but... I'll bring it back up, and we'll be sure to get one more shout out. All right, then. I didn't know yeah. our shots were already out there. You sent me the you sent me the copy, and I were oh how cute! I oh, sent you it's the live. Preview, yeah. You went live. Yeah, I sure did. Oh my gosh! And today we're going to watch the promo for uh, more free T-shirts. So we'll talk about that in a little bit too. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Let's take our first break. Yeah, break. Excellent break time. <laughs> That stupid podcast with Jackie Carmichael and Sabrina. June is actually Pride Month, right? National LGBTQ Month. Uh huh. So I didn't know that. I thought it was May. But anyway, the IICLB's 4M contest, Mr. Ms. MS, M- MX Gay Pride contest, happened last month. And oh my gosh, I was not expecting a lot of money. And you know, I think post pandemic, these people are not going to. We're not going to do a lot. Well, guess what? 
Yeah. Oh, um, now wait a minute. Drum roll, please. Yeah, don't, don't, don't give the dollar. Tell me a little bit about what happened. Oh my gosh! How, like, how oh. did they do what they did? Do you think? Oh my gosh! Okay, so now, okay, so usually they get an online page and they contribute to the online page. Well, that takes a couple clicks, right? Now we open up to Venmo, which I thought, wow, again, about time. It's about time that Venmo would actually. I mean, I'm thinking, how, how important is it? Well, I realize that these people, people in a bar that's drunk, will donate to Venmo much faster than they'll dig in their wallets. So, the, so my candidates were out almost every night, every night, at every bar that could possibly go to, and they were pimping their dollars. Oops, I should, should say that. Uh, they were trying to get dollars with a sash, with, with a sash in an envelope, but in their hands, we're raising money for the what? For the United Way Scholarship Fund. It was amazing. It was mm -hmm. amazing. And um, so, you think they that they did this primarily through bar crawls, uh, bar crawls, and social media, basically. Okay. Yeah, they, you know, online pages and that limos. I mean, that's so. Not, there were no performances. There were no, there's parties, no shows. Yeah, there, there were no like, event events. Wow. Yeah, usually the, the, there's a show attached to one of them. You know, where they target a certain, a, you know, a certain group or whatever, um, but there were no events. They wow. just, they just so that out. was really outreach, just 100% yeah. outreach. Yeah. And the only thing the, the, that the public had to go on was our Facebook page, you know, to, you had to see what that contest was about. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was like, it was crazy how much money they got. So um, how did they do? What was it like? Uh, it, it, it was amazing. Um, one of the candidates was, had a goal, and she broke that goal. She also also broke two other goals that we had for, for the IXLB in past years. Um, but there were two holders that that, that hit a, 10, a 10K mark, and she overdid it. Oh, so breaking, um, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. she, I just go, how is she, how is she going to do this post-pandemic? I'm thinking, that's hard. That's, I mean... I mean, with no targeted place to go or, you know, no event, you know, to um, channel this through. And yeah. just going out and walking up to somebody and saying, this is who I am. This is why, I, this is why I'm raising money. Give me a dollar. You know, it was like, gosh. So, so uh, three weeks of raising money and then we had the, the crowning at, at our wonderful bar down the street. And um, with the entertainers. And oh, so um, I'm thinking, okay, you know, with the entertainers, we had a show, you know, to help crown them, and they get a whole ceremony like we normally do. So I also also asked each candidate to bring a a fifty dollar gift basket to auction, and that was that that blew me away too because once again, those are things are donated, and then people you know you have we auction them off. That's free money, basically, right? So, how did the auction portion do? Do you think wonderfully? Because the fifty dollars, the, the, the least one of them went for it was two hundred fifty dollars. Oh, that's awesome! So, and then the the, the highest price one got five hundred fifty dollars for a fifty dollar discount. There you go. Yeah, I mean the value of the business was supposed to be fifty dollars, but the, but this person got a four night stay in Palm Springs, and that's why I got so good. So. It, Interesting, but who cares? Right? It's so, who, I, how did the whole event do, do you think? Uh, just blew me away. Just blew me away. I read. Brum, 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 brum. Not that one. That's not a drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's not it. How about. Ready? Drum roll, please. $20,000. $20,000. With five candidates. That's fantastic. It's fantastic. With, with five candidates, it's amazing. And, amazing. And especially considering just all outreach. All outreach. Just them going out, and, you know, entertainer tips, um, what, you know, what we did there at the event. Um, it was amazing. That's fantastic. Classic. And now, and now you have a little bit of a new bar set, but not really. The person didn't really up the bar by that much, but you know, uh, you know, ten grand is no longer um, 
uh, exclusive. No. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's uh, maybe maybe now it's a little expected for somebody to come through each cycle with ten grand. <laughs> but but somewhere on the outside looking, go. Mm, I want to beat that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Very good. Well, yeah, congratulations yeah. to that. Yeah. Happy Pride Month. They love each pride. That's excellent. All right. I want to get back. I wanted to shout out also to our uh, one of our great listeners, Ruth Alvarez, and she got a shirt also. And I told her, and I'm going to tell you guys to make sure that you put that shirt on, you take a picture, and you put a, post it on the Facebooks, and you tag Sabrina and Jackie Carmichael. Okay? We yes. will see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are, are there's, there's just, their shirts come out so good. But they're lovely. So I can't good. wait. I can't wait uh, to, uh, to see them out and about. Mm-hmm. Okay, and <clears throat> there are more chances to see those shirts out and about because today... I'm going to launch our June is National LGBTQ Month promotion. Yes, Queen. We are celebrating with our pride-filled podcast. That's our uh, our chapter five. And if you listen to that stupid podcast, Chapter Five Pride Edition, and comment on our content. And if you turn us on with those comments, we will shout out to you and send you a free t-shirt featuring Sabrina and Jackie Carmichael. You know you want it. You know you want it. So what are you waiting for? Hurry. While supplies last. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'll be putting that out on the internet today. You guys get you a, uh, come on to the channel and be sure to comment on our Pride content, and we will shout you out and send you a t-shirt. So look at me now, like an empty nester. An empty nester? A mm-hmm. single? Are you going to have gentleman callers like I asked before? Are you, are you ready for that gag? I'm so not ready for that gag. Oh. No. 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 Good luck. Good luck. Because it's not, it's slim pickings out there, let me tell you. I'm just not even ready for it anyway. Because there's a whole game with those apps, let me tell you. It's such a stupid I'm just not even ready for people's boogers right now. (laughs) You know? Just no. The games that they play. It's hard enough getting back out into the world (laughs) post quarantine. It's, you know, imagining getting into somebody's pants or them getting into mine, I'm like, ugh. I'm barely going to even let you near my mask. Oh. <laughs> I swear that swag that we just opened up. Maybe we should do some, even more stuff. What do you mean stuff? Like a, like a coffee mug. Like a coffee mug? Yeah. Uh, and I started looking at uh, like a baseball cap. Mm. Hmm? Mm. 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 Okay. What else could we do? Maybe a beanie. A beanie. With like a little square well, with our faces on it. So just right there. Okay. We'll look at that. That's cute. All right. Swag. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So comment below. And tell us what other kind of swag you would really want to see our crazy clown faces on. Jock straps. Okay. <laughs> Lingerie. I was working on buttons, remember? I just, oh, buttons. you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I actually found a really good online deal, so there might be some of that coming around. Really? Yeah. I know. I know a button maker. Do you? Yes. By hand? Yes. Because I know how to use the equipment. Yeah. I was looking at buying one. It's no, so no. expensive. No, no. He, he he has a button maker. Ooh, let's get it. It's cute. It's, I have it's the little weird. ones. Yes. The one inch. Yes, Sabrina has buttons, and yeah, they're like one. They're a little bigger, bigger, bigger like a. Not a fifty cent piece at all. Bigger than that, but like a dollar. Yeah, it yeah. works. It works. On That's cute. It's cute. Does Ooh. he have any larger? Yeah, sure. we could do like a two inch button. I think would be good to fit all of our clowny faces in. <laughs> so what's what's upcoming? Upcoming? What's happening? In, I want the world to change now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. What do you want the world... How do you want the world to change? What would you like to see? The share of Coke. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's a commercial. You want a share of Coke? <laughs> I, have you heard of the commercial? I, I, want to see, I, I want the world to change, and it's a Coke commercial. You mean the, the old school commercial? Uh-huh. Oh, I like to buy the I world of Coke, Coke and keep it company. company. Yeah, that one. <laughs> 
right? <laughs> I love that old <laughs> commercial. Hmm. Uh, just... <laughs> Okay, so what do you want to see happen? What's what's uh, you I, sound anxious? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, it's already changed, I guess. I don't know. Just normal, normalcy, normalcy. I don't know. I think it th things are feeling um, pretty normal. I don't know what the fuck is normal, right? You know what? What? what no, I don't know. Yeah. That would imply that things were normal before. Yeah, and normally that wasn't. And really I normal. just don't. Think I just think people are gonna be nicer. Their attitudes have changed. I think their attitudes have changed drastically. Mm. drastically. Mm, I like that. You know, you value time with people a little more. Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of learned that. Because I've been on a couple of outings, you know, you're, you're with friends. It's like, wow, we're actually spending time, quality time. Not, not going out to eat because we need to eat. We're going out to eat because we need to be together. Yeah. And, and like embrace that whole like yeah those connections that's good that's yeah, good no yeah that's very good we should we should go do tacos one day we should do tacos sometime mm -hmm. you like tacos i love tacos i miss tacos i bet you do i miss tacos every day <laughs> Oh, so if any, if, any, if any food sponsors would like to sponsor our podcast, that would be great. Comment below and we'll contact you. <laughs> you can even sponsor us in tacos. <laughs> yes, we could. Because we, you can send us over your, your, your gig and then we'll just eat while we're on here and give you all the shout outs. Oh, uh, we'll do a, like a, a live critique of your food. A live, a live Yelp review? Yeah. Right? Who's Yelp? <laughs> okay. Who would it be? It's us. Oh, okay. We will just have our own review of your food. Yeah. So if you want to sponsor us, just put a comment below and one of us will get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I caught none of that. That's too bad, which is okay. Well, we're, because we're gonna Sabrina part. is really high. <laughs> And you're not? Well, I mean... Well, it's, what? it's because we you haven't captured the last 20 minutes. You just knew what you just told me. So now we have to reinvent... Re, not re, Which you revisit. laughed all the way through <laughs> because you are so stoned. <laughs> That's why I was doing that stupid podcast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're t since we weren't captured, we're going to go back to it. Jack and Carmichael discovered something about ginger ale. Besides the fact that it was, that, that, that is a stain remover. <laughs> well, I only just now learned that it's a stain remover because you just told me that in the portion that didn't get picked up. <laughs> so tell us what else you learned. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. She thinks it's so funny. <laughs> All right, we'll be back when this thing calms down. <laughs> now I'm going to try to tell the ginger ale story. Testing, testing. Well, I'm making sure that we're capturing this because I'm not repeating this. One. Okay, go ahead. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. <laughs> wow. I didn't tell them I'm not. Are you good? Yes. Are you good? All right. Now, the ginger ale story. <laughs> Okay, the ginger ale story is um, that I had to stop drinking coffee because coffee was giving me, kind of making me a little nauseated, right? A little queasy. Been going on for months and months. I wanted something, so so I tried hot tea, right? Is there caffeine in hot tea? No. The hot teas that I was doing, they had no caffeine, right? They, okay. These tea bags that I have, right? 
You know, real herbal stuff, right? Oh. Real, real hippy dippy. <laughs> Tippy-tippy? Oh, yeah, you know, flower, flower petals and chamomile and shit, you know. And so, uh, but it just kind of was like, just not, it, it was not, I wasn't having it. <laughs> there was nothing about it that was you, doing anything for me at that hour of the morning. You weren't feeling zen? No. And so I thought, well, maybe a soda of some sort. I'm not really into soda, but... Ginger ale sounded so refreshing, right? <laughs> so, you know, I get a two liter of ginger ale. And by this time I'm having caffeine withdrawal, right? I'm having like uh, a little, little headache, a little headache, a little head pressure, right? But I'm going to have my ginger ale. And so I did, and it was really lovely. <laughs> And uh, and then I had my ginger ale the next day, and it was really <laughs> lovely, and it made my stomach feel so good, but my head wasn't feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm basically getting to the end of the bottle, and I'm looking at the bottle, and I'm like, it doesn't even have caffeine. It says no caffeine right there on the bottle. And I didn't even think about it, because I think it's a soda. They all have caffeine, right? It's kind of part of the gag, right? No. <laughs> No caffeine. Day two. <laughs> day two of ginger ale. That was after the hot tea day, right? <laughs> so I'm a few days in by now. And, um, but I've really enjoyed the ginger ale and the headaches have, have gone away. So I'm all good. <laughs> back to normal. What is normal? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not really back to normal. I'm on to a new space because I'm not doing the caffeine through the coffee anymore. Right? Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, that means I'm not having caffeine at all because I don't have, have other mm -hmm. caffeine intake. Okay. I guess that means your apartment won't be clean no more because you're not going to clean. <sighs> wow. <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> oh, that's why you hired. Oh, that's that's why. why you keep coming in the back door. Yeah, because, you're made, because that's your maid service. Yes. Oh, and by the way, I need a raise. Yes. <laughs> oh god. Now you now you got me dusting. Get to work. <laughs> you better earn that raise. I will. Well okay. good. Okay. That toilet though. Oh my god. My bathroom and my kitchen are such a disaster because they're so old. Yeah, they need to be updated. They need to be everything needs to be pulled out and replaced, you know. Okay. It's just so bad. But, you know, they're not going to do it. No. And uh, so, the, actually, I just need to move on. Move on. <laughs> yeah. So, as you can see, Could part of this it. has also been my purge, right? My purge level. This, oh, Sorry, this is my, my second purge, uh -huh. actually. Because remember all the art that I used to have hanging here? You purged it. And, like, all the furniture that was here you and whatever. Like, yeah. So uh, you, you, I'm preparing. You're going to purgatory. <laughs> Purge and purgatory. Oh, so let's wrap this up and make sure you guys stay tuned to our next one. All right, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right. Peace out. Bye, everybody.